that drink, I didn't give a damn. I don't want to be that man. Your liver is not that healthy. It's the third leading cause of death. We're getting ready to get on the street called straight. You're going to have three consecutive infusions. So I'm putting the two of you all in the house together. Big D is gone. From this house? We ain't staying in this house by ourselves. That Big D left? This ain't no mother joke. Me and JoJo couldn't be in the same city. Shut up. You make me shut up. Oh, my goodness. I don't want to see Big D. I'm serious, though. We stuck at a point of where something got to get. Well, even Big D or me. Make your mind I got to make my mind with you. Even Big D or me. You, right now, leave. I don't care. I don't care. But this the surprise. No more pulling down the pants, though. Are we walking around with a sign saying, I kiss your ass for a record deal? Did I not? Just tell Damon this shit. I don't need no damn vocal coach. Oh, shit. Me, sugar bridges. You punch like a girl. Do this, mother. No, he was contributing. I want you all to do a life changing moment. No, I can't go no highway right here. When I saw those two caskets, it blew me away. Take a job, do a job. Like a new birth. Now. Oh! That was a big surprise. Whenever he's intoxicated, he's ignorant. Whenever he's sober, he's a world class man. I was happy to see him, but at the same time. Oh no! Thought it was. Don't. Why do I have to be the one to tell Because you're a liar. See, when you lie, you're called a liar. It's not enough to explain how much I love my brother. Why are you behaving as a child? Take responsibility. This is real. Mm -hmm. If you're going to go back to drinking, you guys going to die. You did. They still sell him nothing. I don't see nobody having to carry K out because he's so drunk. Be swinging. All right, man. Well, for JoJo, wouldn't be no Jonas. So, y'all want to put out the record of what? I didn't hear that you actually admitted that you guys were alcoholics. This is the real KC and JoJo from Monroe, North Carolina. Jodeci, KC and JoJo, tons of hit records traveled all over the world. A huge success. A dream that we almost messed up. We've seen the highest of highs and the lowest of lows. And we're sick and tired, tired. of the space that we are in. That's done. It's over. I want to live. For 30 days, 30 days, we let cameras into our lives as we work on getting sober. Are you ready? One of the final parts of this 30-day process was to have KC and JoJo perform completely sober. To make this happen, I had to get with a promoter and book a club in Los Angeles called the Conga Room. What's, great? What's up, y'all? That hyped us up a little bit more. That was a good encouragement. It was a good kick. Like, let's do it. Most of those guys that were there had played with us, you know, 10 years ago. You know, they was our first band. <laughs> Some of them fell away over the years. Different falling out, you know. Guys used to be tough on a band when they were, were drinking. It's been 10 years. Damn near. Wow. If not 10. That's 10 years easy. All right, so, okay. I'll wait what y'all got down. Let me hear that. Felt real good. Felt real good, man. It's like a reunion type thing, you know. We had, we had our crew. After like, I say eight balls, sixteen balls, maybe of that. What they doing in case the guy had live a little bit, then go straight into baby, I'm begging. So the whole second verse is out. You see what I mean? Yeah. Okay, that's that's, that's the only one I was talking about. Okay. Like, I was at home again, you know. You to bring them in, then baby, I'm back. I got it right here. They got it here. Oh. So it just felt good to be around my old band members. Yeah. 
Let's do the damn thing. That's how I'm feeling. Oh, that was it. That was it. How that mean? Jojo. What up, Chief? What's going on, this man? Christian. Y'all remember Christian? Oh, yeah, no. The promoter? Hey, how's it going, man? Yeah, all right, okay. All right. Show's hype, got it sold out, ready to go. Yeah. I'm ready to hear. People talking about all over town, man. Yeah. Yeah. So we ready to go. We ready to go. What's up? Right. Appreciate right. you guys coming out, man. All right, man, thank all right. you, okay. man. Appreciate right. you, man. Working out. Okay, man. Okay. How's it going? Pastor Jamal came over, and uh, he's like, come on, I'm going to talk to you guys for a second. Let's go for a walk. I've been praying for y'all. I really just feel a peace. And I think everything that we've been through in the last couple of weeks is all getting ready to pay off in a, in a big way. You can't go through everything y'all been through for nothing and right. go backwards. Right. You make that kind of sacrifice. We're just taking it one day at a time, man. No telling what God got around the corner for us. You know what I mean? I think it's a lot. Yes, sir. I think it's a lot. I was uh, really filled with excitement that we had finally come to the last lap uh, of the journey. But even though we were coming to a closure, there were still some loose ends that needed to be tied up. People, they put us entertainers, celebrities, whatever, on a pedestal, man. Like, we cannot right. fail. You know what I'm saying? Like, we got right. the perfect car. We can't right. run out of gas. Right. You know what wow. I'm mean? saying? Wow. Know, like, That's good. Cool. Cool. Yeah. I'm going to use that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Pastor Bryant really meant a lot to us because he's played a big role in this whole thing. Gentlemen, this is the end of the road. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we come through it, and uh, I told y'all week one, there's no testimony without a test. You sure and, did? Yeah. <laughs> and this is uh, really the report card day. And y'all have gone through all of the tests. Uh, Big D coming out the house. It was yeah, a little touch and go, out. but we we made it through. Then the second test was the kids. The kids, the kids. kids coming. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. Third test was the food, the diet. The diet. Yeah. You almost yeah. had a relapse with the cookies. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> we, we just we put our pants on. Let me guess. On. This car should be somebody for us. That's all right. At a park, town car. Man, this is, the last this is the last test. the last test, man. You all are healed from the past to get ready for the future. Who is this? You ready? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this? You ready? Oh. <laughs> Andre. Oh. <laughs> Lo and behold, to my surprise, who steps out the car is Mr. Andre Harrell. Yeah. Andre is responsible for acts like Jodeci, Mary J. Blige, I'll Be Sure. Wow, it, it goes on. Jamal hey. Bryant, man. Nice to meet my you. My pleasure. Because we haven't really seen him and talked to him since the split between Jodeci and um, Uptown MCA Records. Tell me what y'all been doing. Oh, what y'all been going through? Throughout this whole process that we've been going through, I mean, I got a lot of, you know what I mean, time to really get to know what I had and what I have and what I've been missing. Okay. You know, so what I've been missing is the more confidence in myself and not the worldly things I was surrounded by. Sounds like you got back to God. That's right. I mean, we, we're blessed, man. I mean, you don't find too many acts out here, you know, that we could honestly say 20 years. Yeah, and that are relevant. That people yeah, care yeah, about. yeah, man. They care about, man. They care about, man. And, you know, we just, we just want to get it back, man. That sounds serious. I feel like I can think clear. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, because I know what I want mm -hmm. right now, and I love this feeling. I've been missing it, man. I love it. I'm ready mm -hmm. to do it. Dre ain't never been so ready in my life, man. I ain't, I and the thing about with me is, I ain't asking for nothing from nobody. If I do ask someone for something, it'll be to support what I'm doing. Same way. Okay. All Same right. way. I'm excited to see that. You'd be very proud of them because they've now finished the process. And uh, the last hurdle is they need to bring closure uh, to everything that's happened in their past in order for them to get ready for the future. Mm -hmm. And uh, I thought it'd be critical for them to have that kind of conversation uh, with you. 
So I, I think uh, we, can, we can go back to the house. Yeah. OK, that's good. That's solid yeah. right there. Yeah. Let's go to the house, gentlemen. All right. Yeah, going to you so coming, Drake? That's dead serious. Like, you get ready to put it on. <laughs> that's good. There was yet one more mountain that we had to climb so that we could see the end. Hey, Doc. Hey. How you doing? Andre Harrell really got them started. And uh, when life began to go downhill, uh, they both went separate ways. And I wanted them to come together to bring closure. It was really uh, a healing moment for both sides. Well, I'm just really glad as we're getting to this point in their journey to have this time to go back and to think back. And I want to kind of start at the high point and ask if you all could describe what your relationship was like when it was at its best, like how you all met and how things were initially. Tell me why you do that. I'm going to hit the road. All right, sounds well, good. Well, I can tell you how we met. Yeah. They were playing music. Mm -hmm. And I could hear the music in my office. And I was having a meeting with Heavy D, and I started to say, who is this? What is this playing? Because you hear these big voices, and you heard these harmonies. Right. So I walked around, and I seen these four boys, and they told me the story of how they drove all the way up to meet me. Wow. To get a record deal. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't a planned meeting. They just came. Heck no. And at that point, you all were like 19? 19, mm -hmm. 17, uh, 18, yeah. Yeah. And so yeah, thinking is. about where they were kind of at their lowest point, what is it like seeing them now? It feels like they're in the right state of mind mm -hmm. to begin their career again. Mm -hmm. And really, really, the most impressive part of it is just talking to JoJo. Because mm -hmm. Casey always had this element of, I'm a star. With a drunk or sober. <laughs> I'm like, I'm a, I'm a star. <laughs> Pretty much. JoJo was always the key, because if JoJo got focused, he made KC better. Mm. And he, he would come in with the discipline of what right. we're going to do and what we're not doing. So when you lose JoJo, the discipline is out the window. I see. <laughs> is that about right? You right. right. You did right on that. Were you aware that they looked to you in that way? Um, at that point in time, no, I, I was not aware of that, but um, it's good to hear. I'm, I'm glad that, glad that y'all looked at me that way. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe that's why it's so easy for me to realize what I have. It's been very healing for the brothers to be together because their understanding of themselves and their understanding of their relationship was clouded by the alcohol. Y'all still have a lot of fans. You're the greatest R&B band that we've ever seen. Thanks, man. So I think that um, if you can get the discipline and get the uh, energy to focus, yeah. I think you can pick up where you left off. Mm -hmm. And I think it's not uh, a race where you're running fast to win it. I think mm -hmm. it, it's, a, it's a slow walk to greatness. My hope is that from a sober place, they will be able to see themselves and be able to see the support they do have and recognize that they can face whatever the challenges that are out there. This is your shot. I'm glad y'all did this. Mm-hmm. All right? And I feel like you got it in you to be a hero. Oh, I'm ready. Oh, yeah, Dre. All right, Dre. I know y'all gonna kill it, too. Man, we're gonna try, man. We're gonna try. Yeah, I talked with Jeff Burroughs from Soda Pop. He thought it would be a good idea if we get a little photo shoot done, so we'd have some publicity photos to do a little early marketing and promotion thing. I wanted to get the guys involved, because usually they're not involved in that side of the business. So I thought it'd be fun if they seen how the process goes, the picking the girls and all that. I figured they would enjoy it. So I'm Johnny. Uh, Jeff Burroughs from Soda Pop Entertainment hired me to help with the casting here. We got some sexy, sexy girls for you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, Mr. D. Hey guys. Hey, man. Hey, you like our music? I do. What's your favorite joint? <laughs> Freaking you is my favorite. That's always the first one that comes to my head. What type of modeling have you done? Implied nudity. The casting part of the whole thing was kind of weird for me because we never did that before. It was kind of fun. Sort of kind of like the American Idol, asking the questions and stuff like that. It was cool. It was cool. What's your favorite song, Tessa? My favorite song is, I can't remember them all, but I do like the one, what is it? Um, I just blank. Sorry, now that you asked me. 
<laughs> All my life, that's what I was thinking, thank you. This chick from, from, from Fayetteville, she about to get on my last name, her name is Goldie. That's, man, please. Y'all, I'm such a big fan of y'all. Oh, man. Y'all from North Carolina too, right? Uh -huh. You know who knows. Charlotte. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, I'm excited, man. I love y'all, damn. All girls on air like that from North Carolina, trust me. She was over the edge with that, and now uh, that was kind of a turn off. That's what's up. So y'all, what, 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 what type of show we doing? What's, what's happening? It's a video. It's a video. Oh. Oh, oh, right, right. It's the part of the This is going to turn to a video like, how do you want it? The X-rated version. Really? Uh-uh. Nah, no, I ain't bringing it that. Big G, next, please. A few of them. Look like they just got out of bed, and I would ask, like, excuse me, do you know why you're here? Did you know we was uh, auditioning models today? Yes. You did? Yes. Okay, just making sure. Okay. Shantae from South Central. Ah. Training's my sh oh. You know, single with no kids, so I'm definitely mm. available. And I love to dance. Let me see. Oh, really? Yes. Okay, we need that in the show. We need that in the show, baby. <laughs> Drop down and get your eagle on good. I mean, as far as like dancing, yeah. I just got into modeling. You know, uh, see, oh, I like yeah. the hip hop dance. I did a stripper thing a long time ago. You used to do a stripper. That was years ago. Can you give me a little walk to the door and turn no, out to the glass? There you go. Make it clap. Drop it. Make it clap. <laughs> you <Y'all> crazy. <man. laughs> All right, okay. your name is Showstopper, because you are a showstopper. Okay. I've never seen anyone do that at an audition, and she stopped the show for sure. Wow. 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 Can you walk back one more time? I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll. slow motion if you can. Slow motion, that little too fast. <laughs> she first walked out. Uh, the first thing came to my mind, yeah, she's pretty, but she kind of looked too old. I'm not a young guy, but I don't want no woman looking old than I am. Pop, and then you explode, baby. Hey, hey, so what'd you think? Hey, oh, John. Yeah. Oh, right? Good job. 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 Good yeah, bravo. It's gonna be hard, man. Yeah. All right. It's gonna be hard, man. Enjoy that. I don't like to see a woman in too much makeup. I guess Lil Richie just turned me against makeup. Cause that man just like, he just embalm his ass and lay him down and say, just play like you're dead. And you will believe that's a dead person. Next one? No. Maybe? Maybe. She look old, yo. Look at all the up camera, here. The camera loves her, though. Not that camera. All right, go ahead. Yeah. You think so? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, everybody? No, hell no. no. I like that's her. her. You like? Yeah, I like her. What's her name? I like her. Tinder. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Right. yeah. Yes. Clap. Better come in and clap her ass a few times. Show stopper. I like her. Yeah, yeah. she had a look when Jessica. she let her hand. Yeah. I like her. That's the three. All right. Okay. That's it. All right, fellas. We good then. Tomorrow, we're doing it. Hey, baby. I'm cool.
Charlie? Going to Uncle Charlie's ranch, his house, his ranch is amazing, number one. My whole outlook on him is like, Charlie Wilson, Uncle Charlie, Gap Band, and singing this guy, incredible, incredible. My name is Charlie Wilson, and I'm an alcoholic addict. Wow, you know, it took the excitement of just being there with him and just made me pump my brakes. I don't want you thinking you can BS me and, and, and get away with it, because that ain't what you're here for. You know what I'm saying? I want to see y'all because I heard you got some days on your belt that you're clean and sober. It made me feel real good that you that took off in this direction, you know? I think God sent Uncle Charlie into our lives because he know how much we look up to him. You know, he can hold, relate your whole lot that we're going through. How do you feel? That's what I'm going to ask you. Right now, man, uh, I feel a big difference. Man. Mm -hmm. and, you know, I, I feel more and my confidence level, my self-esteem is, you know, it's boosted. It's boosted. You know, I don't have to depend on that 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 buzz no more. I got a whole new buzz now. Somebody sit and tell me that, oh man, I'm fine. That's a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> this shit is real. An addiction is real. I remember my first thirty days. T to be honest, I, I was. I, I'm gonna tell you, I hated it. You know, I was pissed off because I couldn't get no cocaine. And I was pissed off because I couldn't drink. When he told us his, um, the demons that was chasing him, I'm like, wow, this, this, this man really went through a lot. I love you both, man. Man, I gotta be firm with you, you know what I'm saying? You, you're gonna have to really, really take this thing one day at a time. And you have to really surrender. You can't be bull because you can't bull me because I already been there. I'm already doing. You can bull everybody else, but you know, you gotta look in the mirror and say, you know what? I'm lying, but I'm trying to make everybody believe. You know, every time you go out there right now and try to work, somebody, somebody gonna hang you a joint. And you ain't strong enough to not to take. You know, every time you go out there right now and try to work, somebody, somebody gonna hand you a drink. And you ain't strong enough not to take it. And your wings are still broken. I know it's, 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 it's gonna be rough, and especially with the business that I'm in. That's my life, that's my living, to promote my records. And sometimes I gotta promote them in clubs. And, and, and what's that clubs? It's the temptation. I say temptation. I got more temptations in the Motown archives. Rehab is inside. You have to rebuild yourself. You gotta rebuild it. This person right here, you gotta rebuild it. All the love and all the hate and everything that you were so pissed off about, the reason why you was drinking and getting drunk, whatever that is, you need to rehab that. You gotta get that out. It takes more than 30 days. I just really need to hear that, man. That's real, and it's something to think about, and something that I have to work on, something that has to be a part of my life. I can tell you a lot of stuff, you know, mm. but I mean, what, what good is that? I don't want to start talking about all of my drug stories, but I can tell you this. I'm going to tell you who I ended up at. I ended up with three shopping carts, which wrapped in cellophane, a brick for my pillow, and a piece of cardboard for my bed. And that's where I ended up. Mm. How in the hell? It's not possible somebody can get that bad. Then after hearing him tell his life story and live in life with an addiction, it can happen to anyone, and that's real. This is what you have to remember, that you want to drink from failure. Mm. Being sober, clean and sober, and, and, and you take some rest of your life doing this every single day, man. You got to do this for the rest of your life. OK? Mm. It kind of like 
shook me like, so when do it end? You know, I question, puzzle me. Every day, there's a practice, what about that? Do 10 years, no drink, no nothing. I'm still, uh, I still have a problem. Yeah, you still have a problem. You should really care less about right now about what people think about you. You need to think about what you think about you. And you gotta learn to love yourself. Mm -hmm. You gotta learn to love yourself all over again. You gotta do new things. So then the things you used to do, all these things, you're gonna have to cut out. After many, you can't do none of those things no more. This shit is hard. I'm telling you the damn truth. This is hard. This is no bull An addiction, I don't care if it's sex. Uh, whatever the kind of addiction, driving cars fast or whatever the uh, hell is, cigarettes, whatever is more, an addiction is an addiction. You f***ed up. It's hard to let it go. You're going to have to admit that you got a problem. You see, my name is Charlie Wilson, and I'm an alcoholic addict. Can you say that? I don't think that, wow, it's just, just real talk. I don't think that, um, Can you say that? Joel, hey, you I'm an alcoholic. Alcoholic. And for the rest of my life, I will always be an alcoholic. See, you have to be able to say that and mean that and, and say it and continuously say it. When you talk to people, when people say, hey, man, you know, you can tell them what you are. He at home. What he said was amazing. Every day of your life is uh, you're going to practice on your sobriety. And I uh, will go to my grave with that. That was out of everything and everybody that we talked to, that was the deepest. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, but the courage to change the things that I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. the photographers out there right now from doing everybody from 50 to Beyonce, Puffy, you know, he's a hot cat, so that's who we wanted to work with. Why don't you just have a seat, you know, and basically get comfortable first. I'm gonna shoot this way, but I always like when folks are comfortable first. I start there and, you know, and then we work, then we work our way through. I like the way you're sitting, yeah, I like, there we go. Good, lean forward a little bit. Nice, guys, yeah, I like that. Good choice with your hands. Good look. Love it. You know, he knew exactly what he was doing. He was a real professional. He made us feel comfortable. All right, let's bring these girls in. Come on. Hey, put your arms around his waist. Okay. I want you like in here. You're working all of this and getting as close as you can into him. Here we go. Keith Major, um, he's real talented. Very easy to work with. He's fast. I love that. He know what look he want. And he know exactly. He know. He knows the shit. Good, nice, good choice, KC. Feel like a more mature. Yes, I'm gonna say that. KC yeah. and JoJo. Yeah. All right, let's take a look at some of these. Just felt grown and sexy. You know what I'm saying? More adult. You like her look? Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, she's a good looking girl. Cause the girl thing is cool and all, but I tend to like that. That's hot. Do pretend <laughs> like I'm not even here. Do you? All right, baby. Because if I'm in the studio, you over there. You think I'm gonna let you tell me how to sing? Do you? <laughs> What's up? <laughs> you don't need me to you say. <laughs> I'm 
going to get my stuff together, D. All right. No, no, I'm not drinking. I see. I can do what I want in a better way. I feel good. Look at my eyes. Sober. I'm happy. I know it's hard, but, you know, I, I just hope and pray that they just stick to it. And I just want to see these guys live a long, healthy life. Yo, let's go, brother. Showtime. Bye. The 30 days went by really fast. My concern is that they have to deal with it in real life. This is something that we've all hoped and prayed about, and it, it's finally come true. I don't have fears that they'll relapse. I pray about it, and that's all I can do. A year ago, we would have had a dressing room, would have been a cloud of smoke in there. But those days are gone now. What's up, man? Everybody just showed us love backstage, you know? They were real respectful. Hey, hey what's up now? All right, showtime. Showtime, ain't it? You just the baptism white, huh? Come on now. <laughs> Sanctified white. That's right, sanctified white. That's what's up. Baby, sanctified white. Sanctified white. You're going in like 20 minutes. Yeah, after the never they finish that right yeah. there, we ready. And I said our prayer. There's a lot of mother out there. Yeah. This, uh, this show here is going to give you a, a great vibe. Ooh, that's what's up. All right, if y'all hit today, people gonna twi Twitter this. Ooh. All right, so I just wanted to wish y'all luck. Just that's like your great. new beginning. Just it's a clean, a clean slate, because y'all been going for like a decade, mm -hmm. like 10 years. Ain't yeah. nobody came and knocked on that door at all. Gave him a chance. Not, n like 10 years. That means it was your destiny to be in that spot. That's what I was talking So we were coached by the best. Good exactly. luck. Coach by the best. I know y'all don't need no luck. Thanks, Greg. Sanctify. After everything we've been through, I can look forward to the journey because I'm prepared now. You know, I wasn't prepared when we first started. But now this journey, this right here, this whole process has prepared me enough to move forward. Let's have a word of prayer before we go. After everything is said and done, the cameras are gone and everything, I feel as though I can take it on now. I can handle it. Gentlemen, it's been a long journey. I'm proud of you, and this starts a new chapter, a new season. We came together for prayer, just as we had started on the very first day of the journey. God, I thank you right now for these two brothers who you still call son. Uh, you could really feel the emotions in the room. Good and gracious God, thank you for your grace and for your mercy, and more than that, thank you for your patience, that you've never given up on us even when we almost gave up on ourselves. We're beating this thing called alcoholism. We're overcoming this addiction, and we're moving forward. Now make this a ministry moment that people won't just hear and see Casey and JoJo, but they'll be able to see you, and you will get all the glory. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 The conga room was weird because the guys were really excited about doing the show and they were really nervous at the same time. Two minutes. I don't know a, a real entertainer that's not nervous before he or she uh -oh. hit that stage. I'm always gonna be nervous. Hell yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, this is what we do. This is what we know and love to do. So I'm um, a little bit of nervousness, yes, but it felt good and that made me more hype. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for Casey and JoJo! Bust some ass out here, man. This is a whole new monster about to be released, man. Yo, this is it. Clean. Sober. Reality check, boom. Get on stage and all these people. You can really do it. Well, 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 
Getting on stage with the original band and to see a lot of a lot of familiar faces out there in the audience. They were like feeling it too, so that was a high. Yeah, that was the best high. You see, you talked about me. I said you talked about my brother. My, 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 I just wanna fly. Baby. Fly, can I do it? You can do it, baby boy. Can I do it? You can do it. Listen, y'all, it's, yeah. The temperature like a hundred degrees. The I got chains on me. Black mill in the family of three. Been right at my destiny. I reckon I fly away. Cause it's too much for the man. Oh, yeah. Should've gone down this way. What happened to the master plan? They did it. We made it this far by faith. And I'm just excited to say what the next chapter of life is going to be for KC and JoJo. there all night. That's a feeling I really can't describe. Two brothers that have been through so much together to come back strong together. Doing something we love to do together and to get the response that we was getting like. We're just tired of sitting back and watching them die in front of our eyes. I would prefer that I die before them because I couldn't see them laying in the casket. I just couldn't. Honestly, I would think that I wouldn't see him at my wedding when I got married or graduation. I 
I'm sorry for even putting my mother and my father through such shame. You all have to make a commitment. If another record ain't ever made, if y'all never go out on tour again, that you walk out of this process as better men. I see you all. It's time for a change, you know, because I'm I want to see my kids grow. Said I promised you never fall in love with the stranger. You all be thinking now. Don't look back, keep going forward. I cherish every hug and We're in the process now of redeeming ourselves. I ask y'all forgiveness, and I love y'all. Never look down on a man unless you're picking him up. I'm not going back to that dark hole that I crawled out from under. I'm not going back in I'm sober. True. Hey, Love I'm in good mind. spirits. Oh. The Haley boys coming back sober. Yeah, man. We're gonna, we're gonna chop it up, baby. We're gonna, we're gonna grind that beef. I think